Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean. And we got to talk about the power of brand today. Now, I know everybody knows today that brand is a powerful thing, but today I want to break it down plain and simple. And I'm not going to use an artist or anybody like that or business. I'm going to use two MMA fighters as an example. Conor McGregor and Khabib. I'm not even going to try to mess up his last name. I don't know if you saw their recent fight, but it had a lot of ruckus around it because also after the fight, they jumped out the ring and started swinging on the fans. But that's not even what I want to talk about in reference to them. I want to talk about the fact that coming into the fight, Khabib was 26 and 0. He was undefeated and hadn't lost a fight. And Conor McGregor was 21 and 3. Not including that random boxing match he did with Floyd Mayweather, which he also lost. But at the same time, coming into the fight Khabib was getting two million dollars and Conor McGregor was getting three million dollars no matter what happened in the fight why is that by and large Conor McGregor is the biggest name in UFC probably ever he's extended far past just the game of UFC into a lot of other realms of pop culture largely because of his trash talking and then he even did that fight with Floyd that extended his name to a lot of people who wouldn't know him because they don't watch UFC but the point is He's must watch TV for a lot of folks. And because of that potential to bring in more eyes, he has a bigger brand, he's gonna get more money right off the bat. Even when we're not talking about the formalities, at the end of the fight, Conor McGregor basically stood to possibly gain around $50 million after the pay-per-view numbers and all the other numbers came in for just one single fight. And his earnings are far more than the other guy just because he has a far huger brand. He got paid more to lose than the other guy got paid to win. The same thing basically happened a few years ago when Ronda Rousey, a female USC fighter, basically not only did she fight, she lost the fight, still made more money than the other girl, and she was able to come back, get another chance to fight, but had a redemption story. That was the opportunity, right? You had the opportunity at a redemption story, and she still lost that fight too, but still made more money, so to speak, all around than the other girl because she has a bigger brand. Now, when we talk about these big brands, yes, you might have a lot of people that hate you you have more haters you have more people that love you and that's what big brands look like for people like conor mcgregor some people are actually paying to see him lose there are people who want to pay just to watch hoping that you get knocked out then of course you have your supporters but that's what the power of brand does. It puts you in an opportunity of more influence regardless of the outcome. Now you can take that, put it in perspective for whatever you do, but I had to use fighting because there's no clearer, more straightforward example. You have these numbers and the numbers are what they are. However, this difference, why would somebody who loses make more money than somebody who beat them? It's the brand. They brought more eyes at the end of the day. So the question is for you is how do you create that influence for your space personal brand company brand whatever we'd love to know you guys thoughts as always answering questions on my ig every sunday so you can follow me at brand man sean other than that if you like this video go ahead hit that like button if you like it you might as well share it and if you're not subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe button Hit that like button if you like it. Might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, wait, what?